Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to talk about something that I think I, I think I should tell everybody. Okay, so look, um, Ghostbusters starts next week. Next on on the fifteenth, Ghostbusters premieres, and I'm not gonna go see it. I I, I know this is controversial, but I'm not gonna go see it. I'm gonna give you reasons why I'm not gonna go see it. But I, I just don't see the point of going to see this movie. I, I'm a huge Ghostbuster fan, like a really big Ghostbusters fan. Uh, as far back as I can remember, besides He-Man, Thundercats, it was like Ghostbusters was that thing for me when I was a kid. I remember, I tell my wife this story all the time, there was me and this other kid in kindergarten, and we used to bring our Ghostbuster stuff to show and tell. I mean, I had the trap. I had the pro. Like, I had everything of Ghostbusters. I was a huge Ghostbuster fan. One of the greatest memories I had as a child was, for no apparent reason, one time, my dad came home and he had the Ghostbuster house, the firehouse playset. And for no reason, it wasn't Christmas. It wasn't my birthday, nothing. My dad just came home one night and he had that, that playset. And... I just, that, I, that's just a memory that stuck with me. I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. Love Ghostbusters. Um, just love everything about it. I love the cartoon. I love the extreme Ghostbusters. And for years and years, all I wanted was a sequel to Ghostbusters 2. I wanted a third Ghostbusters. And the closest we ever got was the Ghostbuster game that came out on the PS3, Xbox 360, um, in which I really like. I really like that, that game a lot. Um, so, when I found out that Sony was going to do this, this next, after, uh, Harold Ramis died, which was also sad news, Sony was going to do this, this Ghostbusters reboot, and I, I didn't dismiss it, you know, Bill Murray came out, he said he wanted an all-female cast, so they decided to go that route, now, I'll be the first the person to admit, that, like, I don't care if they're all-female, I really don't, I, I like having female protagonists. Look at my Ray poster. I, I love Star Wars Force Awakening. Probably my top Star Wars movie of all time. I love Ray's character. You know, I'm shooting for a Black Widow solo film. I, I don't mind female protagonists. I love female protagonists. You know, Spider Gwen, so on, you know, whatever. Um what what really killed me with the announcement was two things. Two things really killed me. One, that it was not gonna share the continuity of the previous films, which I really wanted it to continue the continuity of what happened in the setup of those previous films. Um, I don't care if the cast was all dogs, okay? If one of the dogs belonged to one of the previous Ghostbusters, I am fine with that. So as long as the continuity continued, in this, that's not the fact that this movie is completely redone. It's not, nothing continues from the previous movies, like the previous movies never existed. Even the Star Trek films, the new Star Trek films, whether you want to, you know, whether you like them or not, at least they are in that continuity of the original Star Trek universe. It's in that continuity of that universe. So, getting rid of that continuity just, just killed me as a fan. And the other big thing was Melissa McCarthy. I am not a Melissa McCarthy fan. She is one of the three people I can't stand in Hollywood. Which was right up there with with Seth Rogen and Kevin Hart. I just can't stand those three because those three played the same characters in every damn movie. So, but I, I kept judgment, you know, wait for the trailers. First trailer came out, it was god awful. The one the one chick Leslie Jones, every scene she's in, she just screams. There's nothing funny about her. She just screams. The power of Patty compels you. Get out of my friend. You still like like she yells this stuff. Um. And, and they want to talk about female leads, you know, um, you know, it's a different time, let's make a female lead. How about you take a black female lead and actually make her a doctor or scientist? Why does the black female lead have to work in the the subway? Really, you want to talk about all this advance and, and you know, the way of thinking, but you take the black female lead and you make her work in the subway. You couldn't make her a doctor and put Melissa McCarthy in the subway? I digress. The, the thing is, each trailer was worse and worse and worse. Each clip I've seen is worse and worse. And today I wake up and I go on my, my new sites and I see they made a female Slimer. And at that point, I'm just, I had enough. I had enough. I'm not going to go see this movie. And the reason why I'm not going to go see this movie, and I know my, I have a friend, Colin, He's writing me on Facebook. He's like, you had no right to, 
to bash this movie without seeing it. And that's right. I will not bash this movie because I didn't see it. I'm not going to see it. And But I also wrote him, by me going to see it, whether I get it for free or not, by me getting that ticket is telling Hollywood, especially Sony, that it's okay to do whatever you want to these franchises because we're going to go see it anyway. And that, and, and until we put our foot down as a society, as fan, and say, we are not going to settle for what you give us, nothing's ever going to change. It's just that simple. This trailer, the, the trailers and clips I've seen for this just look horrendous, okay? Not only the best, it, it looks like they take Ghostbusters and they're doing a Saturday Night Live parody of it. None of the characters in the trailers feel like real characters. They feel like they're just sitting there fucking around. It, it feels like a poor man's Spaceballs version of Ghostbusters. And, and that's an insult to Mel Brooks. It's more like a, a scary movie version of Ghostbusters. That's what it's like. It feels like your disaster movie vers version of Ghostbusters. That's what this is. You have a female Slimer now. You have proton brass knuckles. You have proton pistols, you know, you have all this stuff that isn't Ghostbusters, you, it, the trailers just look awful, worse and worse, and you have a character like Leslie Jones, who is just screaming and screaming, and it's not funny, it's just bad humor, it's like, you know, and then the one part where she jumps off the stage, and she's like, I don't know if this is a woman thing or a race thing, but I'm mad as hell, it's like, you are, they, by saying that very line, you're going against the principle of having four female leads. Because you are right there degrading yourself as both being black and a female. In that one, in, in that sentence right there. So what's the point of having four female leads if you yourself are setting your own characters back by having a asinine fucking comment? The trailers and clips for this film look like crap. And to be honest with you, for the past few years, I had enough of my childhood ruined for me. I had Ninja Turtles ruined for me. I had Transformers ruined for me. I just had recently Independence Day 2 ruined for me. So why am I going to take something that I cherished as a kid, some of my fondest memories as a kid, go see this film that A, has nothing to do with the previous films, and B, doesn't look like a very good film. Will this movie be good? I don't know. It's very well be, it could be the best movie this year. Critics might go see this movie and they absolutely love it. But I am not going to go take that chance. I am not going to go sit in this theater and, and, and deal with what I have to deal with. I'm not going to do it. Maybe later down the road, depending on how the reviews are, I might stream it. I might get it on DVD, rent it. But I am not going to pay money or use my movie pass to go see this movie. Because by doing so, that tells Hollywood, especially Sony, that it's okay to rape our fucking childhood and do this to our properties. It's okay. But by doing this, it opens the door for them to do stuff like reboot Back to the Future, redo Jaws, redo these classic films that these that, that stood the test of time. You can go back and watch the original Ghostbusters right now. And not only does that movie still hold up, it is still an awesome movie. The jokes are still funny as hell. I just seen that movie recently. Last year, me and Adam went to the uh, anniversary showing of it, and it was still an awesome movie. You know why? Because they weren't characters playing care pictures of other people, which that's what these this cast in this movie looks like. It looks like they're care pictures playing and making parodies of the Ghostbusters. So, um, people can say whatever they want in the comment box. They can call me sexist. They can call me an idiot. They can call me whatever they want. But the thing is, as long as we keep buying tickets to go see stuff like this, it's just going to keep happening and keep happening. And eventually it will get to a property that you love. And then you're going to look back and think, man, maybe we should have, you know, put our foot down on this. If you're a Transformers fan and you hate the Transformers movie, 
that's because people didn't put their foot down, and now we get these Transformer movies. Okay, I'm, I'm putting my foot down. I, I'm refusing to go see this. I don't know what comes out along with Ghostbusters next next week. I go to the movies every Thursday night to catch a new release movie. I don't know if Ghostbusters is going to be a solo movie next week. Hopefully there's something else, but I, I'm just not going to go see that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that upsets people. You can call me whatever you want to call me, but that's the fact of the matter. That the movie, by the trailers alone, the way they produce this does not look good. It looks awful, and um, I'm just not going to give Sony my money or Hollywood my money. And Sony, for number one, Sony doesn't have a very good track record at all. So I don't know what Sony does, whatever. So I've been rambling on for way too long. That is just my opinion on it. Um, again, controversial. I know everybody's going to blow it out of proportion. But uh, that's my thought. I try to give very reasonable thoughts without, you know, jumping around ranting and cursing and stuff. Trying to give you logical, intelligent thoughts. And those are just my thoughts. So uh, until next time, guys, I am Robert Storms, and that is my opinion.